Hey everyone, I just wanted to shake things up with a slightly different kind of video. This one is less analysis slash video essay, more of a quick little breakdown and list video. Season 2 has officially wrapped production, and I'm excited to see it release later this year. I know that a lot of you out there are also excited, but I've seen a few people who might be getting their hopes up a little too much about finally seeing their favorite character on screen. So I thought I'd step in to crush their dreams now before they're disappointed, while trying to avoid spoilers as much as possible. Here are five fan-favorite characters you won't see in The Witcher Season 2. Since I didn't mention it during my intro, these rankings are based on how confident I am saying that they won't appear, and I'm very confident that Letho won't be making an appearance. Although many fans would love to see this darker take on a Witcher, Letho's got a few things working against him, but the biggest one is that he was created for the games. Even the Witcher school he belongs to is a game-only creation. The show is mainly focused on book content and its own original material to fill in the gaps. The other problem is that Letho's role as an assassin in the second Witcher game shakes things up quite a lot in the continent so there wouldn't be a way to include him naturally even if the showrunners were to borrow him from the games. To keep this game character train going, let's take a look at my next choice. Yeah, I know these are two characters, but they're basically two sides of the same coin, so I'm only giving one explanation for both of them. Roach and Yorvith are both leaders of groups willing to do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals, but they have very different ideals. That makes it very interesting when you get to decide who to support in The Witcher 2, changing the course of the whole rest of the game. Unfortunately, just like Letho, both Roach and Yorvith only ever appear in the games. What's more, the books have characters that fill somewhat similar roles for similar factions in the Northern Kingdoms, so using these characters might be a little redundant. I think they have a slightly better chance than Letho of the show using them for some sort of cameo or maybe name dropping them in a conversation, so I put them one rank up here. One of the more interesting secondary characters in the story, Regis is an unconventional traveling companion that Geralt meets up with. Although he shows up in the Blood and Wine expansion to The Witcher 3, this barber, surgeon, philosopher was originally introduced in the books, so his odds of appearing in the show are already much higher. But not really high enough. The show's still got a little way to go before we're ready for Rages to make his appearance, since they've only really adapted some of the short stories and a little bit from the first book in the series proper. Regis doesn't show up until book 3, so the odds aren't good that he'll show up before season 3 or 4. Unlike the first two entries on the list, Regis is basically locked in to appear in the show later on, so let's raise a glass of Mandrake Moonshine in his honor, and watch out for spoilers about him in the comments. Missile stands out on this list as being the only character here who never has a direct connection with Geralt. Missile is introduced in Book 3 as a member of the Rats, a gang made up of young people who run wild in the war-torn continent. Missile is a major part of Ciri's story, and the two have a very deep and meaningful connection, so many fans are interested to see how she will be adapted in Netflix's production. The show has been emphasizing Ciri's journey from the very start, unlike the books that take a little time before starting to show things from Ciri's perspective. So some people might think that Missile will be making an appearance, but I'm not convinced. Without getting into it too much, Geralt and Ciri will have to be separated again for a little while before Missile can be introduced. And since the show spent all of Season 1 bringing Geralt and Ciri together, I think they're going to take their time splitting them up again. Milva is a human archer who has a cool connection to the forest of Brokolon and the conflicts of the continent, who eventually travels with Geralt and company for some time. Since we're at the last entry, you might think that I'm not super confident about this last choice. But nope, 
I'm still very sure that Milva won't be introduced this season, even though I really, really want to see her. Like Missal and Rages, Milva's first appearance is in Book 3, Baptism of Fire, and I feel very secure saying that the show won't get any farther than the end of Book 2, even if they move at breakneck speed. Milva is one of my favorite characters in the series, and she might be one of the easiest people on this list to introduce earlier on than her book counterpart, but I just don't see it happening. Milva's role in the story is just too important to be tweaking things like the timing or location of her introduction to Geralt, even though it might be possible. The showrunners have a good introduction already written for her in the books, and there's no point in messing with success by bringing her in early. But hey, I could be wrong about any of these, and I'm sure I forgot to mention some fan's favorite character that could fit here, so let's talk about it in the comments. Would it be worth it for me to make a video about any of these characters before they're introduced? Or maybe I should do another spoiler light list of cool characters to look out for in Season 2. I'll see how this video does to inform my decision, so if you liked it and want more like it, please share this around. Give it a like and subscribe to A Storm of Stories. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you at the next one. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers, at which point I'll be doing a contest for a box set of a fantasy series. If you'd want a chance to win, the best way to get this contest started sooner is by subscribing and telling all your friends to subscribe.